Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a website using HTML and CSS and we will be using artificial intelligence to build or to write all code for us. I will go through all this code also in a second but in this way which I will demonstrate you in this video you can easily build any website then you can edit code and this could be a starting point if you are learning HTML and CSS. All we need to do is open chat GPT as you can see openai.com if you don't have account create one you can always ask many questions to chat gpt and get a really good answers in message chat gpt i will write in prompt asking him to create a website so i will write create a website with three pages using html and css with pages about home and contact us and click enter and this is all you will need to do to create this website now as you can see this will be index.html page as you know guys index page is always the very first page which is being accessed and then chat gpt will wrote us about.html page and then we have contact.html page and we have a style sheet which is style.css file these all pages and these files have to be located in the same directory so now let's go to desktop and here on my desktop I will create a new folder, so new folder and I will call it my site. You can call it however you want, I will just call it my site. Then we go back to ChatGPT and here we will need to copy this first as you can see from HTML. This is index.html, we need to create index file. I will go through this code also in a second guys explaining you what this code is about. But for now just copy this all which was in index.html and then open a notepad and in notepad open a new file and paste this code. Click on file, save as. And let's save it on our desktop. As you remember, we created this folder at my site. Just click into it and save it as index.html and click save. Then we create a new file, scroll down and we go to about page. Here we copy this code. We go back to our notepad and we paste this code here and we save this file also file save as. And we save it also in this directory which is on our desktop as you can see. Desktop my site. And I will save this file as about dot html and click save guys and then we create another file which is third file which we need and this will be file for contact.html page. Copy this code, go back to your notepad and paste this code here and save it. And we are again saving it on desktop on the in the same directory and we will save it as contact.html. Then we open another file which will be for our style. Then we go back to chat GPT and here we, as you can see here guys we have style.css. So style sheets have a .css extension as you can see here. Let's highlight this, let's copy this, let's go back back to our file let's paste it here and we save it also in the same directory or in the same folder my site as style.css click save let's close everything down and let's go to our desktop and here as you can see in this my site if we click into it there are these three files one is about.html one is contact.html one is index.html and one is style.css so style sheets are being saved as .css so let's preview our website if we click on index.html it will open our site here in browser welcome to our website and if we click on about page it will be about our company and if we click on contact then there is contact information but now let's have a look where this information is coming from if we go to home page for example and we open a code and our home page is index file index.html then you can see the structure of all this page at the very top first tag this is known as doc type declaration which is telling the browser that this page is written in HTML5. So now browser for example Google Chrome knows how to read this page. He understands that this is written in HTML5 and in general browsers which you are using like Chrome for example they understand only three languages. One is HTML which you can see here, another is CSS which you can see here and the third one is JavaScript and all the rest code which is coming to browser or which data is by being passed to browser this is being passed by some backend technology like for example 
PHP or data. If there is a different data on the website, this is being stored in databases and databases are also stored on servers, guys. The same as backend technology is stored on servers. Here we can see that first tag which we are he seeing here is HTML opening tag and here at the very bottom, if we click on this tag, you can see that this includes all content of this page and the structure of the pages of HTML are the same. They start with doc type declaration telling the browser what HTML version is this on this page so browser understands how to interpret it and then we have HTML opening tag and HTML closing tag which tells where this page content starts and where this page content ends. As you can see it starts at the top and it ends at the bottom. And then we have two main sections on HTML page. One is head section. As you can see, it opens with head opening tag and it closes with head closing tag. This is the section which declares metadata of particular page. And this data which you can see in head section, it is not being displayed on website itself. It simply declares different char sets as you can see here. And it declares viewport telling, for example, browsers that this website is responsive and it allows you to also import different files like in this scenario as you can see here with link tag with rel attribute we are telling browser that this is the style sheet and here with href attribute we are telling browser where is our file and this file is located in the same directory in style.css so this page is able to access style from this style.css file if we now go back to our browser and for example if we would want to make this home page title to be in the different color currently as you can see the color of it is black so we would need to go to style and we would need to have a look what it is this is the title which is in h1 tags which is home page and now we go to style in header there is one h1 tag which is telling that there is no around margins around this h1 tag here we can write another h1 tag and to do this we also say that this h1 tag which we want to change is, is in header we leave space and we say h1 and we open curly brackets and we close curly brackets this is the syntax of css where you are targeting particular tag which you would want to add style to and then you open curly bracket and you close curly bracket and in between these curly brackets you are saying what you would want to do we would want to change color to all these h1 tags so here we say color and we say red and we put semicolon at the end we save this file and if we go back now to this page we try to refresh you will see that there nothing is happening and this text is not being changed and and here if you are developing you should already notice the mistake which i made on purpose guys and the mistake i made is if we go back to our style file you can see that i have saved this file as style.css but in all these other pages this file which is calling style sheet is called styles.css here as well styles.css and here as well styles.css so in all these files we need to rename the file so in index file we rename it to style.css and save then we go to about page we rename this file to style.css and we save it and we go into contact also rename this styles.css to style save and it will be saved guys and now if we will go back to our browser we will refresh browser you will see that now all style has been added to this page from this style sheet and this site looks much better now we have home page we have about page and this is contact page home page is bigger because i made it on my browser as you can see it's 150 if I go to about, I can also make it 150 and contact, I also can make 150 so it's easier for you to see. So yes guys, this is how you can easily create HTML, CSS page without even writing a code and using today's technologies like ChatGPT to write the simple codes for you and then you have basic website and you can start pretty much from here and do all other changes in your file. So yes, hope that you found this video useful, if you did leave a like. If if you want me to create any other tutorials on HTML, CSS, let me know in comments guys. But yes, this is pretty much what I wanted to share in this video. Hope that you found this video useful. Leave a like, share this video, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.